Good evening. This is Pastor Kenton Slaybaugh. And the final cell life principle that I want to share with you is I call multiply the ministry. And so as an icebreaker, have you ever been involved in a situation, a circumstance, that you started out as a participant but ended up being the leader? You didn't intend to be the leader, but as the way things developed, you became the leader. What was the progression in that experience? You may not have started out in leadership, but you ended up in leadership. How did you respond to the increased responsibility? Was that good? Was that not good? How did you respond to the changes in the roles? How is it to go from a participant to being a leader? And What's important and what's involved with that? Take a moment to discuss those situations. You can press pause on the video and we'll come back in a moment. Genesis 1.28, God tells Adam and Eve this. He said, God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion. He was saying have dominion over the creation. And the way to do that is to multiply. What you are experiencing as a group is special. Hopefully you've built relationships that are deeper than just simply a shallow relationship that you might have with a coworker, or you might have with a person that you meet uh, first time, but you have family kind of relationships. As you hurt for and as you rejoice with one another, a close kind of friendship is the result. You, you have battled together and you've come out and you've survived. This level of security in relationship, this level of, of, of having that kind of depth is many times what we long for, what we'd like to have. Maybe you can, you can point to other friendships, places where you know, you know that that person, even though you haven't been together for a year even or two years, then yet you pick right up where you left off when you see them again. It's that level of, of comfort and security in the relationship that we desire. The natural outgrowth of being ministered to is that we then in turn want to minister. And the natural outgrowth of wanting to minister is being willing to facilitate that kind of ministry. As we have been ministered to, we're to go and do likewise. And that means ministering one to another. And it may mean that God is asking you to lead a group that would multiply out of the current group. Multiplication is the natural climax of a healthy group. Anything that's healthy grows and anything that grows multiplies. It's a normal part of group life. Doesn't mean that everybody has to go. It means simply that God may be calling some of you out to begin a new group. And so I wanna encourage you with the help of your leader, perhaps the help of your pastor, that you may begin to initiate a new group. And you may be willing to take the initiative to be the leader of that group. It may be that you see a need, a target group of individuals, people that God has put on your heart to minister to. And so you have a burden to see them come to Jesus. I want to encourage you to walk with that burden and then begin to put action into that so that you are inviting them. It may mean that you start a group yourself with those people. As a new group develops and as a new group forms, the life that you experience is multiplied. The work of the Holy Spirit is multiplied. The work of His transformation is multiplied. And you're growing and you're developing as a disciple. And now instead of just being ministered to, you're willing to minister to others and you're willing to help facilitate that ministry in the life of a new group. A couple of questions tonight. How have you experienced the ministry of this group? What are the strengths? What are the weaknesses? If you were the leader, what would you do differently? Maybe God is calling you to start a new group because He's placing some things on your heart that He wants to do through you. Are there people that you currently know of that could benefit from being in a group like this? Would you be willing to reach out to them, to minister to them, to initiate relationship with them, to invite them to your group? Would you be willing to cultivate those kind of relationships so that Jesus can find His life in them as well? 
when I raise this idea of leading your own group, how, how do you feel about that? Does something quicken within your spirit that says, yes, this is something I want to do? Or is it like, no, nah, that's not for me? Listen to the inner voice of what the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. Would you be willing to receive further training if that's necessary or needed so that you can be more effective as a new group leader? We're called to multiply. We're called not just to be hearers of the word, but we're called to be doers as well. It's a call to become all that God has purposed for not only me to be, but for our congregation to be, for our cell group to be. And that means we take what we have received and begin to minister that into the lives of others. For that to be effective, it may mean that you need to multiply the group. There may be those who hear, they've come face to face with the call to leadership. And so tonight in your ministry time, if you are feeling that call or sensing that call, I want to encourage you to share that with your leader. Pray over those people. Pray You can pray, take them, three or four of them, and put them in the center and begin to pray over them as a group. But I want you to ask yourself the question, what is God saying to you? Because maybe you don't feel called to be a leader, but you feel called to support a certain leader. And many times the Holy Spirit will begin to bring new groups about and bring them and form them. And there's teams that begin to form. And so you begin to look at that and, and walk with that and allow those teams to form as God would do that. Pray that God will bring all the right pieces together so that a new group as it forms can be established and the life of Jesus can be found in them. But pray into that multiplication. What is your role in that? Lay hands on those that maybe feel called to leadership. And I want to encourage you that during this time that you're open to what the Holy Spirit wants to do through you so that you in your present group and so that the new group can experience all that Christ intends. Blessings to you. Have a good evening. Minister one to another. And we'll talk to you again.